What is up guys, Staff of the Gaming here, and today we're back with another let's play of Dust and Elysian Tale. Sorry I hadn't been uploading in the past two months. Well, I did upload a Mind the Gap live stream, but um, <clears throat> it turns out it failed. Anyways, I'm kind of eating chips right now. <clears throat> Anyways, we are back with another gameplay. This is where we left off. So as of now, um, we're still, we are still exploring through the, um, the glade, I think that's what it's called. And it's not bad to be honest. <clears throat> so far lately, I've been doing um, swimming. I've been swimming like for the uh, uh, high school team. And okay, I guess we need one of those explosives. And we had we had a, a bunch of meets like every, like on Monday and then Wednesday, and then again next week on Monday and Wednesday. It was just too much. Couldn't record, but here I am back on a Saturday where I have time when nobody's home and it's really quiet in our house and ooh, this is a dark spot I wonder how trees manage to grow in here too that's what I'm kind of wondering about <clears throat> so let's pull out the, um, the plant and we found four keys I only got four keys right now well, that's good to know. Uh, here's another explosive. Unfortunately, I can't go under. I don't have the ability. But let's do this. How hard can this be? Down, down, side, up, side, down. Oh, that's cool. We unlocked a friend. We found a friend. Um, who's this dude from? Uh, I forgot. Not, I think it's Super Meat Boy. I don't know. But anyways, let's, let's continue um, finding our way through the forest. And I forgot, I forgot we could fly like this. I thought I... It's just that I barely been playing on uh, lately. Oh, you thought? Ooh. So, as of now, um, last Thursday, which was the 17th? No, the... Uh, what day is it today? The, um, the the 13th. But today is the 14th. The 12th, I think, or the 11th. It was last Thursday for sure. Um, we went against another school, and uh, that was our last um, regular squid meet. So now we're the only one we have. Excuse me. The only one we have left is the um, districts. We're gonna go against districts. And that's gonna be a very, very last meet. And then after that, uh, we'll be pretty much done with the swim season this year. And, ooh, we found something. Yes, there's something up there. Not a problem at all. Stand back. Wow. All right, I've got it. Wait, no. Wow. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. I'm sure there's a way to get up there. We'll just come back later. Wow, Fidget. Wow. You have to show up at the wrong, at the right time. Trying to be like, um, what's it called? Like, one of those annoying people? Well, I'm one of them, to be honest. I like this tree. We have a similar tree like this, like, uh, when um, we're at the school, we have like a huge tree similar like that one. Except it's not like a um, swamp tree. It's more like one of these land trees. Because the roots of those, they're just like, yeah. Ooh. Looks like we're heading in the right direction. Be on your guard, Dust. I sense a powerful foe ahead of you. Don't worry, Dust. I'll be behind you every step of the way. Way behind. Why will you stay behind anyways? Oh, you can get lost. It's another one of those spiky slime things. Their persistence will give them that. Much as I pity this corrupt beast, now might be a good time to demonstrate the parry technique. Allow it to strike. Oh, okay. Hey, you changed it. Attack 
can hold the button at the moment of the enemy strike and you will parry their attack, opening them up for a counterattack. Okay. Timing is crucial, and you must be facing your opponent. And as you can see, a successful parry may also daze your opponent temporarily. Now, put this beast out of its misery. Misery. Reminds me of Squidward from Spongebob. And ooh, we found someone. I see somebody over there. Ask them if they've got anything to Wow, wow. We're in a bit of a hurry, fidgets. Don't worry, I'll <laughs> feed you later. Hey, I'm not a pet. But uh I would appreciate that. Thanks. <laughs> I'm not a pet. Actually it does kinda like as we're treating her as a pet because like she's following us, she's like our companion. Think of it think of it as a dog though, like a dog follows you, like a canine for example, like a police dog. Like it just follows you. I, mean, I just think of it like that. Oh hello! You surprised me there. Don't get many travelers this far out of town. Sorry about that. It's nice to finally meet a friendly face. So we're getting closer to the village then? You mean Aurora Village? Yes, it's just beyond those fields to the east. And I think you might be just in time. What do you mean? The monster attacks down there have been getting worse. Right before you showed up, I'd swear I heard somebody shouting. She's right, Gus. I can hear somebody calling for help further down the path. I don't. Let's get going. Yes, please hurry. Be careful. I didn't even hear anybody calling for help. Did you guys hear anything? I don't know. We're gonna try to make this like 45 minutes long, kind of to make up last last month's I think. I don't know how this is gonna go. Oh. Look! Please help us. That doesn't look right. <laughs> Okay. Seems easy enough. And boom. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. Do, 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 do. Wait for it. Wait. Right there. That's how you do a parrot attack. Is that all? Ah, uh, two more. Dang it! Huh? How many of these giants are they? I don't. I don't even know. Doo -doo -doo. Wait, wait. There we go. That's how you do it. That's how you strike an enemy. And we leveled up. That's good. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. What happened here? I, I don't know. We were out here checking the fields when those giants attacked. We've been having a lot of problems with smaller beasts, but this is the first time a giant has ever come this close to the village. Then the first step of your journey is near its end, Dust. The village lies just ahead. Yes, we arrived. That's great. But what now? That has not yet been revealed to me. These people are safe, and that is what is important. Let us continue onward. Will you two be all right? <laughs> yes. I just need a moment to rest. I'm not sure how you did it, but you took down three giants single-handedly. Wait, wait, wait. Not a problem. That's what we do. Bringing justice to the weak and defenseless. Hey! Who are you calling me? <laughs> Who you're calling weak? Who you're calling... Dude, look, they look so weak right now. Uh, okay, I'm just playing. Who you calling weak? <laughs> wow, Vegas. Oh my god. He's, he's just. He's trying to break the fourth wall now. I can already tell. 
Chapter One Destiny. This is that the nice village? I can tell. Yeah, you got a hillside. Ooh. You know what this reminds me of? It reminds me of like one of those um places in um what's it called? China? Not China. Europe or China? Japanese? I don't know, it's hard to tell. Hold it right there. Are they gone? I don't hear anything. If you're referring to the giants, I took care of them. They're dead? Yep. Thoroughly <laughs> Yeah. I suppose. Interesting coincidence. Yeah. If you're suggesting I had something to do with this attack. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. I, I have to apologize for my big friend Caleb here. We're just a little overwhelmed as all. Alright then. What's been happening here? I guess you missed the endless hordes of bloodthirsty monsters on your way in. They used to stay in the mountains, away from the village. Now they're attacking us on a daily basis. No one's been hurt yet, at least not until today. If giants are showing up near Oneida's farm, things are far worse than we thought. Speaking of which, where exactly do you come from? There's nothing west of here except crazy old... <laughs> We're... Uh... Crazy Coral. Wow. <laughs> You're certainly well armed for the job. Like you said, there are a lot of monsters out there. Well, we're indebted to you either way, so go on through. But I'm watching the two of you. Please, make yourselves at home. Uh, my name is B. There's not much here, but we do have a merchant if you need supplies. Thank you. We'll be on our way then. Bean? You expect us to eat beans now? Now I know that bean is a human. Prospectors, fidgets, that was the best thing you could Prospectors. <laughs> it was the first thing that popped into my head. It's not like you had anything better. Come on, let's get away from these guards. Alright, Zara. Where to now? You're right where you need to be. The answers to your identity lie somewhere in this village. I know this place, and that's for certain. I'm sure I've been here before, but nobody seems to recognize me. And you, in turn, do not recognize them. Yet I feel there is something here that may yet trigger your memory's return. Maybe we should look around for a bit, then? If you really have been here before, maybe somebody will recognize you. That is a good idea, Fidget. Let us meet with the townspeople. I am certain that the next step of your journey will reveal itself in time. Very well, but something, something here is making me uneasy, like the calm before a storm. Okay, so we gotta find ourselves our, our, our um, what's it called, identity. Ooh, we found someone else. Who's this? Why, hello there. I'm always thrilled to see a new face, even when it's all covered up like yours. <laughs> Indeed. Well, my name is Dust, and this is Fidget. Hiya! Don't mind Mr. Mr. Grumpy. He's not big on the whole eye contact thing. Fidget and dust, eh? Not from around here, are you? Well, neither was I originally. But this is a nice little place, if you're not in a hurry. Oh, uh, where are my manners? I'm Augustin, local strongman. Say, you want to arm wrestle? Uh, some other time, perhaps. We're just passing through. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Thought you looked like the arm wrestling type. You know... I heard what you did back there for Oneida. Great stuff. Maybe we can help each other out? Maybe. What did you have in mind? I have an old friend. A blacksmith. Lives way up at the top of Archer's Pass. Ooh. I promised I'd deliver some materials to him way back when, but haven't been up that way in ages. Area's pretty dangerous these days, if you ask me. Maybe you could deliver them for me? Tell you what, if you help me out, I'll give you this blueprint. 
If you give it to him along with these spare materials, he'll set you on your way right quick. A blacksmith that can craft items from blueprints? I think I'll take you up on that, Augustine. Well, that's great! I knew I could count on you! When you see him, just tell him that old Augustine says... <laughs> Alright, sure. We'll deliver those as soon as we get to the top of Arches path. Wait, let, let's read our let's read our quests. Um, wait, notes do we have? We hadn't read the treasure, I guess. Did we miss the treasure last last um what's it called last time? In the ancient times, our greatest promises. I think we read it. Um, no completed anything, but let's read the a new venture. A mysterious merchant has asked you to find various. Oh yeah, we read this one. He'll give you a bonus. For... Then we got the blacksmith. Augustine has asked you what. Augustine has asked you that you deliver a blueprint to the blacksmith in Archer's Pass. In his in his stead, as the pass seems to be incredibly dangerous as of late. Okay. And then this is our primary one. So the first one was you woken up in a small glade in the mountains with no memory of your past. An ancient magical blade, Aura, and its guardian fidget will join you with no other path. To travel the road to the easier only option, we completed that. Then we found a village. There is a village in the distance. Perhaps it holds some answers. We're already at the village, and the last one is our next um, primary mission is you have proven yourself a hero to the townspeople of Aurora. Perhaps you now can get some answers from the townsfolk. So we gotta do that next, and we leveled up. So we're gonna level up our defense. Check that. And we're done. That's how you do it. Let me eat this last piece of chip. Was that too loud? I don't know. Alright, forget that. Moving on. Hey, we have our next um, towns, townspeople. Yes? Uh, good, good morning. Mm. Is it though? I, well, I. You guess? He guesses, it's wonderful. Well, perhaps you can guess that I really don't want to talk such drivel right now. Go, scurry off and leave me be. Okay, so we talked to Gianni again or something? Wonderful. Another moment with the philosopher king himself. Why don't you bother Augustine or some other <laughs> You don't need to ask me twice. We're leaving. Anything else? Yes. Oh, okay. Good. Mm. Well it's just the repeat. Because sometimes you gotta um, interact with the characters again. Mosca. Hello. I don't believe I've seen you before. We just came in from the west. Ah, oh, so you're the one everyone is talking about. Everyone's, Everyone's talking. Talking? Of course. You're the one who saved Oneida. Uh, my name is Mosca, and I am at your service. If you need anything, just let me know. Say, are you, uh, are you staying long? I don't know. Why do you ask? Well... If you ever find yourself heading east of the village, maybe you could let me know if the roads are safe? Oh, they're far from safe. The town guards mentioned that monsters have been attacking all sides of the village. You're better off staying inside the walls for now. Well, see, here's my problem. I I've been meaning to visit someone in Denham. It's a small village on the edge of Abadi's forest. I imagine this someone is pretty important to you? Well, yeah. See, Ooh. it's about a girl. <laughs> oh, she is. She definitely is. I just, I, I want to make sure she's okay. With all these monsters around, there's been no word from Denim at all. Mosca, if my travels take me there, I'll let her know you're thinking about her. Oh, thank you so much. You're great. You're really, really great. <laughs> wow, Fidget. She's surely worth the danger. <laughs> wow. Did we go down here or something? Uh, we have no keys today. We got 672 XP acquired. Wait, is that true? Well, 
Where's your XP? It only shows our enemies vanquish. It don't tell us our XP. Oh yeah, here it is. I know it's more, but that's what we finished talking. Shops are restocked. All right, sounds cool. And we found someone else. This is. You, you perfect. Thanks. Not you. Listen. Do you hear it? Can you hear its whispers locked within? Within the box. My box. I. Same. I don't hear anything. Well, of course you don't. My box has been lost. Somebody. Must have stolen it. Perhaps it was that Moscow fellow. He's always averting his gaze from me. Like he's hiding something. Probably his distaste for <laughs> I can hear its whispers coming from below. Down, deep down in the earth. If you're ever down there, please, you must find my box. Return it at once. And whatever you do, do not open the box. And we open the box. Okay, Reed. If I find your box underground, I'll be sure to bring it back. Wow, what's in the box? You know, this reminds me when I got this game um, a year back. Uh, if you guys know what any box is, it's pretty much a service thing. Uh, the subscription service where every month they bring in a new single player game. Like for example, Dust and Illusion Tale, which is what I'm playing right now. And um, basically, it's a collector's edition where there's a lot of goodies in the box. You got yeah, some. Some of them include the soundtracks. Others include small plushies. Others include like clothes and T-shirts. Uh, for this one, it was a plushie, uh, little uh, USB sort of aura, as um, with the game in it, and it was really cool. That's what that's that's what it reminded me. And, ooh, we found someone else. Hi there. Well, hello. Uh, You're a quiet one. Dust manners. You'll have to excuse him. <laughs> Worn out. Yes, I heard something about that. Ah, yes. Well, good. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They'll just keep coming back. I. And there's nothing we can do about it. Wait, 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 wait. we need more info. I didn't introduce myself before. My name is Dust, and my companion here is Fidget. <laughs> Hello again. Dust? Really? wrong no I, i'm sorry it's just an interesting name i'm ginger oh and about those people you saved yes well that was a noble thing to do so thank you and we leveled up wait wait, wait. one thing one thing are you okay please don't take this the wrong way but i'm not okay so we leveled up again just for time. Well, it's always Fiji who's the one who's trying to level us up. So we're gonna level her up right now. Increase our projectile. And moving on. Oh yeah, and Augustine's voice sounds like one of those Australian accents. She's a nope. one, huh? Well, I'm sure I know, I know what you tried to say there. I know exactly what he tried to say right there. Moving on. What else? Who else is out here in the village? Oh, is this food? What's what's um uh, what's in the food menu? I, I can't see anything. Food menu. Um, looks like um sushi rolls, two bowls of whatever. Um. <laughs> Two bowls or whatever, sushi rolls and pasta. I might be wrong. Anyways, um, go in the shop. Should I go in? I mean, I like to the shop detail. Look, there's like plants on top of it. Uh, I'll probably go back there later. Let's go inside right now. Ah, our famed savior. I had hoped you'd come. Welcome to my humble shop. Ah, uh, we got 313 gold. We might just buy some. Wait, what? Oh, that's a feeble fruit. I got confused because I don't know which one Fidget gives us in the beginning. If it was a uh, Luanta knot or the feeble fruit. We're going to buy feeble fruits. We're going to buy three of them. I can't afford anything yet. You honor us with your patronage. 
your rich ones. Your rich ones. Your rich ones. Should we go down here? Wait, yeah. We should, I think this is a save. Yep, it's a save. Moving on. It's a save. What's up here? I, I like, this is, looks like a construction area. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni. But whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like <laughs> this guy. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried. All right, sure. We're we'll gonna look for him. And we still hadn't found the key yet. Is there anything else here? Oh yeah, the um. Yeah, let's go talk to Gio, um, Gianni real quick. Ooh, really fast. Um, skating to the left. And a matter of energy. Let's just fly over for a bit. Where is he at? Where is he at? Where is he at? Probably the next side of the village. There he is. Let's talk to him. <clears throat> Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that fool? <laughs> I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is <laughs> Oh my god. I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him. Waffling around. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. What? When he said waffling around, I just thought of a waffle just like flipping itself over and over again infinitely. Waffling around. Wow, such a rude... Such a rude guy just telling us that he wants the kid to do his laundry for no money. He didn't even say the wage. Anyways, we're gonna move on really quick to talk to the um person. The um the, the um village area. Is there anything we need to tell her? Oh, okay, it's just that. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I like how there's like an area up there. Wait, 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 wait. This is something interesting though. Like, like you're going up here. Ah, you're going up here. And then all of a sudden you see like this um, rock hanging from the top of nowhere. Oh wow, well, that's kind of strange. Let's talk to um, Good day. Mayor Bar Bar So you're Brown. the hero I've been hearing about. It's nothing, really. We're just passing through. No need to be modest, my friend. We can't thank you enough for your help. Things have been rough in Aurora of late, so having a true hero in our midst is really boosting morale. So, what's your name, son? Dust. My name is Dust. And some of the villagers I've met, they don't seem quite as pleased as you. Ah, are you talking about the Watchmen? You must understand, hardly a day goes by without some monstrosity attacking our peaceful village. They were simply being cautious. Take my word, I'm sure they meant no ill will. There was also this girl. Yes, that could only be Ginger. She can be a bit of a handful, but don't pass judgment on her like that. You have no idea what she's gone through Whoa. In the past year. She looked pretty upset yeah. or something. Don't concern yourself. We have other matters to discuss. What help could I possibly provide? A few giants in the field seem like the least of your problems. Yet again with the modesty. You're no mere travelers, that much I've gathered. Mineral merchants don't wield blades as impressive as yours, Dust. Please, we really okay. can't use the help. 
I don't know. I'm searching for something myself. Then perhaps we can help each other. If you help our village, I promise I'll do whatever I can to help you. But I can be of no assistance while our village is constantly attacked by these creatures. We suspect their leader is close by, and if you could... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, hold on a second. You're saying those... A leader? Thugs have a leader? Until recently, they would attack us in small groups. Nothing we couldn't handle. Now, they coordinate attacks on a much larger scale, hitting the village on both sides, driving our forces apart. I assure you, whatever leads these things is experience. Oh, okay. And what do they want? Our land, I imagine. Just a casual observation, but they don't seem yeah. a farming type. Well, whatever it is, it's become a serious problem. If you truly are as capable as I hear... You want us to find their leader? It certainly would cripple their advance. You'll be doing the entire village a great service. How about it, Gus? Well, I... You feel a conflict of emotions. This is good. I will abide by your decision, Master. I trust you to take the right path. Helping this village is the right thing to do. But it's more than that. It's almost like... Like I know these people. Like I have to help them. I think that strange feeling you've got is a little foreign concept called compassion. <laughs> hold up, hold up. Alright, sorry about that guys, my dog was barking at something else, I'm like, Ugh, every time when I'm recording something wrong happens. Alright, let's continue. Alright, Mayor Bram, you've convinced us. We'll do what we can to help stop these attacks. <laughs> That's my boy. The Watchman reported That's my boy. monster activity to the east of our village. So I imagine that's where you should go. But do be careful. Strong as you may be, I've seen many fine warriors lose their lives in these monstrosities. I understand, Mayor. I'll be careful. And I'll be back. Cool. So what does he want us to do? Or... Oh, it's the updated oh, quest. So we completed this one, and now we're gonna go to this one. The mayor of Aurora has asked you to travel to east into Abedal's forest and find the at the leader of the monsters attacking the village. Alright, so that's our next clue. Our next um, side quest is out to drive. Gianni has sent Carmen to Ido Glen to wash his laundry. Make sure that he is safe. And Colin is looking for his missing brother, um, Corbin. Watch in the box. He met an old fellow named Reed. He seems to be looking for a box of some sort. Reunion. Moscow has asked you to check on a girl in denim at the edge of Abedal's forest. Alright, so we have a lot to go. So we're gonna continue a little bit to, um, Abedal's forest. Oh wait, we still have one more. His name is Fail. Hey, you're the outsider. Yeah, that's me. That's great. So you must know your way around out there. Maybe you could do me a favor. Depends on the favor. What is it you need? Well, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fail, and I'm in charge of keeping our guards well equipped. Oh, so their poor equipment is pretty much your fault. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> so many words. Yes. It's not like I enjoy giving them subpar equipment. If I had better materials, I could make better gear. Tell you what. Wow, fidget. <laughs> I would gladly buy them off you for more than the shop will offer. I'll keep my eyes open. Much appreciated. I'll be waiting right here. Pretty much all your equipment is basically your fault. Yo, I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. Okay, so this is the map. Uh, the mayor of our has asked you to travel east to Abedal's Forest to find the leader of the monsters attack. So we gotta go to Abedal's Forest and I think Fidget's up here. No, she's usually sleeping over here on the side. There's not much to see. I like the night skies. I wish you could actually see more of it, though. But this is the map. Um, that's her stuff for her bag or fidget's bag. I don't know. But this is the land of Falana as of now. So we're gonna go... Wait, what's this? Sanctuary? We'll check that out later. Let's start a little bit on Labrador's Iron Glen. I don't even know what to do right now. 
Uh, and then we got the glade. We got the glade there. We got the sa Let's go to the sanctuary real quick. The sanctuary. And I believe it's a house. Go to house, you go to cloud ticking. What's up? Wait, 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 what's this? That's a purple resonance gem. I just love how it's just th sitting on a table right now. Purple resonance gem. I actually like the sanctuary. It's pretty, it's pretty nice and relaxing. It's quiet. Um, what's Aldo Glen? Oh, this this side. All right, sure, we can go to Aldo Glen. <laughs> wow, you guys saw that. Wow, fidget. But you saw the monster, like, it was coming right here. It was just walking like nothing was gonna happen. He died right here. Yo, that's that's kind of hilarious. Ah! Oh, I didn't get burned. I thought it did. Saving, saving. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's too much. And I think I saw a Q over there. I don't know. Oh well. Moving on. The final monster. Oh, there's two? Are you, are you kidding me? Wow. Ding. Ding. Dang it, I missed it. And I hit it at the right time. Yo, 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 chill, bro. Yo, I'm actually gonna die soon. There we go. There we go. We got them both. Say goodbye. And look who we found. We found Carbon. Hey, are you here to help me? Please tell me you're here to help me. Let me guess. You're Corbin? You know your sister's been looking everywhere for you. I had to hide in here with all those monsters around. Well, they're all gone, so you should be safe now. Are you hurt? Do you need help getting back home? I'm okay, I think. I know how to get home by myself. I come here lots, but there were never any monsters. You'd better go while it's clear out there. I still need to get Mr. Gianni's laundry. I dropped it down there, and I don't want to get in trouble. No, Corbin. You go home. I'll take care of it. Oh, wow, thanks. Here, take this. You'll need it if you go down there. A white resonance gem. That should come in handy. Thank you. Now go on. Hurry back to town. Resonance gem. Seriously? We're going after that jerk's laundry? We're going on a laundry quest? I laundry quest. Poor kid for what's happened. Come on. We'll kill some monsters on the way. It'll be great. Laundry quest. Wow. <laughs> We're here for a laundry quest. Wow. Okay, the next mission of Archer Dry is you rescue Corbin and send him safely home. Now you find now to find Gianni's laundry. A better than nothing. Fail wants to improve its armor. Worn by town guard. Bring him five imp parts to help him out. Laundry quest. Alright guys, welcome to another episode of Laundry Quest. Today we are playing a laundry quest game. Well basically it's a game where you only find a laundry that's it you find people's laundry uh, you gotta hunt it down and try to save a kid from being in trouble that's this is what we do laundry laundry quest and we found it over there but well, I gotta clear these monsters first else they're just gonna distract me from getting the laundry there we go a little more a little more a little more come on come on come on bring it on bring it on there we go Laundry quest. So we had to defeat the monsters in a little hidden cave thing. Um, how many of these are they? There's like so many. 
Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Trying not to get hit. Dang it, I just got hit. I just got hit. Wait, 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 wait. Right here, right here, right here. Okay, they're dead. They are gone. So, we are here on playing a game called Laundry Quest. This is not Dust and Legion Tale anymore. So, we gotta jump a little bit of parkour. Jump here and skip. We found the laundry. Just, just look at the laundry just floating there. I mean, just look at it. It's just standing there. Jun, jun, jun. Wait, where is it? Right there? I just got that laundry right there. It's just like floating right in front of our faces. Oh look, we found a couple butterflies too. Okay, continuing on. Let's get the laundry. Laundry quest! Well, here's where Corbin dropped the basket. Might as well return it for him. Do my eyes deceive me? Or did he accidentally drop it near a poison <laughs> bush? Fidget, what's going on in that twisted little brain of yours? Wow. I'm just, saying, I'm just saying, wouldn't it be a shame if some poison ivy fell into his basket? You know, completely by accident. Or, you know, Ooh. not. Wow, Fidget. Positively evil, Fidget. But... What do you guys, what do you guys think? I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, I don't even know what to choose if no, that would be too cruel, much as I want to. Oh yes, put in Ivy, I will redeem. Well, uh, I'm gonna go with, I would say yeah at the same time, cause um, Gianni did want it, um, a kid, did force a kid to do his laundry on a laundry quest. Okay, first of all, guys, comment down, comment down below in the comment section, hashtag laundry quest. I want you guys to do that. That, that, that'd be really awesome. Or laundry quest, just type anything related to laundry quest. Type in laundry quest. But I'm gonna go with no here, so let's see what happens. Boo. Boo, I say. You're no fun, Dust. No fun at all. Wow, <laughs> you're no fun at all. Fidget is sure purely evil. Like, I just, like, I just can't believe how evil she is. I mean, she may look nice, she may look cute. Just two seconds later, she's like, no, I'll bite your face, face off. Actually, she'll bite your head off completely. I'm not, I'm not even joking, she'll bite your head off. Why is it not pulling down? I just pulled it down like a few times. We're almost done with the laundry quest. We still gotta go back to Gianni. There we go. Pull the explosives. Moving on. Whoa. Oh! Wait, 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 wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. I know how to get those keys. Because you, you guys saw how I flew up. Watch this. No, I messed it up. I messed it up. <gasps> All right, that's it for one more time. There we go. We got both keys. That's how you do it. There we go. Moved out just in time. Laundry quest. I just can't. How long is this laundry quest though? I'm just kind of wondering. Nothing up here. Just a few more walls to break. Skill gem available. Ooh. Uh, we should upgrade our attack. Just to kind of increase our chances. And let's go ahead and moving on. Oh dang. Fidget's not on there yet. Um, the mirror. Yeah, I know we gotta go there. But let's finish this. Let's finish this real quick, and we'll end it over here as soon as we finish laund- As soon as we finish hashtag laundry quest. That's what we're gonna call it. Hashtag laundry quest. Let's make it a thing though. There's Augustine. There he is. There's that little boy. Let's see what he says. Alright Gianni, let's talk. Let's talk. Would you mind telling me why you have a child running errands outside the village with monsters around? Well, I certainly can't be running around outside myself. Those monsters, they are dangerous. So, where is that Corbin brat? He's lucky I'm the patient's type, and I didn't report his laundry thievery to the guards. 
Haitian type. After rescuing him, we sent him back to the village. Rescuing him, you say? Is he alright? Yes, he'll be fine. A bit shaken up, but... Fine, fine. And uh, what of my laundry? Surely, after all that time he spent out there, it must be cleaned by now. Yeah, Gianni, here. Take your laundry. But you're never going to ask Corbin to leave the village again. Do you understand? Um, well, when you put it so threateningly, I suppose I have little choice in the matter. Good. For your sake, you should hope we don't have to talk again. Believe me, I will avoid it if I can help it. You know what? I kinda hate this guy. And I would just love to maul his face off. Manners, Fidget. It's what separates us from the animals. Hmm. <laughs> but he's an animal too. But literally. This is, I will literally bite his face off. Just, just, let, let me see if I can try to Photoshop this for the um, funny edited edition I'm doing. I'm also, I'm also editing like two gameplays, see, uh, funny edited. Yeah, make sure you guys check out the, uh, there's gonna be like, every time a, a gameplay, there's gonna be two of the same, except one of them's gonna be like funny edited. But, um, let, let's, let's take a quick screenshot of this. Um, a little higher, right there. Wait, a little lower. Let's go right there. Perfect screenshot. Let's take one right there and another one right there. Wait, we need fidget at the bottom. Right there. That's how you do it. So now let's go talk to Colleen. And our mission should be completed. Oh wait, yeah, we found a key, right? I just remembered. We found that key over there. So let's go down here. Find that key. There it is. Ding, 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 ding. Ooh, we got a couple of um, honey buns. I think that's what they're called. Let's equip that. Uh, no armor yet. Nothing for our items and keys. We got one key. Rings. We found a pendant. Or pendant. Materials. That's it does. Better than nothing. Alright then, sounds good. So let, we gotta go back to Colleen. Wait, does she have anything to say yet? Looks is there oh, here it is. Okay, nothing. Yeah, she does seem depressed, to be honest. <gasps> there she is. Oh, there he is. Smarter next time, all right? It's too dangerous out there for a kid like you. And don't worry about Gian. We already sort him, him out. Sort him out. Yeah, like the laundry. <sighs> yes, fidgets. Like the laundry. Laundry quest. Okay, okay. Thanks again. You know, you're a pretty good fighter. Well, I. You're so strong. I'll bet you'd have no problem getting a 1,000 hit combo. Hashtag sleep combo. <laughs> yeah. Really think you could do it? A 1,000 hit combo? Sure. Why not? Oh wow! Awesome. Hey, when you hit for the 1,000th time, you should say this one's for Corbin. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. But I'll try to get the combo just for you. <laughs> wow, sleep combo. Who does? Everybody does a sleep combo. Wow, fishies. You always think of laziness. Calling. Thank you so much for bringing Corbin back. I'll make sure he doesn't run off again. Well, don't be too rough on him, Colleen. He's been through a lot. Take care now. Uh, I think we're gonna end it here. Wait, let's see. Let's go check the map real quick. I don't know if it's just on the map yet, yeah, because I want to show you guys. Oh yeah, she is. She is on the map right here. Just chilling in the um, moonlight. There needs to be a moon though. So there's one of the animations for a picture right there. So, let's go to um, Abedas Forest and this is what it looks like. So stay tuned for our next gameplay. Let's look at the scenery on there. Abedas Forest. So guys, stay tuned and we'll do another one, 
probably on Tuesday if I have enough time and if I if nobody's home. Because usually Tuesdays, Fridays, nobody's home after and it just come here and I have swim practice. But we're gonna save it on here and we'll see each other next time. So guys stay tuned. Don't forget to um on the comment to comment down below um sleep combo and logic quest. That was gonna hilarious already. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.